Yo! Got the, the final update to the MPC 60 Make 1. First one. Very first MPC. I feel like now it's in its uh, Super Saiyan 3 form. You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. You could just call this a Super Saiyan 2. Oh, oh, oh. From the past videos, I showed my struggle with updating the OS on the MPC-60. I bought the EEPROMs, like three different sets. Bought the 3.1 from Roger Lynn. I bought two sets of 3.15. Every time I installed the EEPROMs, it wouldn't update or it wouldn't turn on. So a couple of times I thought I bricked the MPC. Sent it off to repair shop. Sent it off there. Uh, I think they charged me like, uh, what was it? They only charged me for the EEPROMs actually to put them in. But the issue was they had it for like two months. Good communication maybe the first two to three weeks. After that, dropped off a cliff. I kept sending emails. I had a number too, so I kept sending texts, calling the numbers. I couldn't get any response after three weeks, so finally, so I had to start sending threatening emails. If I raise up, gonna be trouble. Trouble. I'm walking off. So I got forewarned. So I'm sending information like, look, these are all the locations. Like, I'm gonna come visit all these if I have to to get my NPC back. So finally, they responded like, it's fixed, it's done, we're sending it back tomorrow. Shouldn't have took that, but it did. So I got it back, works. It's a slight little uh, buzz. I don't remember it being there. I have to go back and look at the videos. I hear that now, but it works. The 3.15 works perfect. And I feel like the NPC loss a little of the, the sauce that made it the MPC-60. Now, for all intents and purposes, it's an MPC-3000, it's just a slower MPC-3000. Got the extra memory, and now I installed the SCSI interface, and I got the Zulu, the Zulu SCSI that works in the back, and I added a GoTech to the front. I wasn't going to buy the, the Zulu SCSI. I was going to stick with the GoTech, but once I go to the 3000 or the 2000 XL, coming back to this, everything takes a long time. So just saving a sound, it could be a kick. Saving it to the GoTech or the floppy, it literally, I have to put a time on it. It takes like 60 seconds to save a kick. So saving a sample. A uh, three, four, five second sample takes like two minutes. So I I had to go away from the GoTech and that's what made me buy the Zulu SCSI. I didn't buy the internal one, it cost a little more. Zulu SCSI was like $76. So I got that part working. I added the, the side panels, the wood side panels. It looks nice and refined. But I think I like the original look too. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned the actual, the, the armrest, the handrest, the leather handrest. Like, this is very nice. I find myself leaning on this a, a lot. And this one is in very good condition. 
So I got that. Um, and it works perfect. Like it's in perfect working order now. It's the final form. I'm not doing any more updates. This is what it is. I'm just going to make beats on it. And I'm going to commit to the, the time it takes to chop the samples. It still takes a long time to chop samples on this. But I did figure out, and I got this from other YouTubers I saw, about the auto chop feature that is in the MPC 3000. And with the 3.15 software, it allows me to, to use the SCSI interface, but also has that exact same chopping function that the 3000 has. So that's a little uh, shortcut to quick chopping. And you have to chop with numbers. If you don't use the auto chop feature, it still takes a long time. It works, I like it. Really quick update. Um, this is it. It's the final form. And I also, I did something stupid, as I always do. You are either lying or you're stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. All right, let me load some samples up. Got some drum loops. I thought these were two different loops. What the heck? I know I'm gonna be running out of space any minute for if I add more samples. start now let's see edit let's copy that to sequence two do it main uh don't sequence edit i'm getting pretty good at navigating these 60s especially since i got this one and the make two or the two i can get around pretty good and sub bass There we go. What's the main one with this? Just the drum loop. All right, let's see if we can make a quick song out of that. All right, let's see what we got.
I know I said I would never do it. Bought the cash register. I have to be careful because I still have no screws in the top because I'm adding uh, the screen. Screen on this is very dim. So that is that. So I, I did some more dumb stuff, y'all. So I'm gonna work on this one now. That one is final form, I'm not touching it. I'm just pulling it up to make beats on it. It's great, I like it. And I feel like I, I dragged this out way too long, longer than it should have been, in order just to get it to the point it's at. But it was a nice journey. I like the, the tinkering part, I enjoy the tinkering. So now I got the Make 2 or MPC 62 to worry about now. So the one, it'll be in a, in a prominent place on my desk, but I still prefer the 3000. It just does everything better, faster, smaller footprint, not as small as I like. The footprint that I like the most is the, the SB404, but I'm working with those now. So final form, final update, MPC 60, Thanks for watching.